So, I've been working with the Minecraft Coder Pack, and I've been having trouble trying to decompile and use Minecraft 1.10.2, not just 1.10. Uh, so, I finally figured it out. Thought I'd make a tutorial to show you got the rest of you guys how to do it and how to solve some errors and problem solve a few other things. So, first of all, if you want to decompile and uh, mess with the server, uh, this site, um, mcversions.net, really good. Uh, so, I'm going to be using 10.2, so I'd come down here and you'd go and download the server jar file. Uh, only trouble is it's going to save it as a as server.jar. That's the whole name. And you're going to have to change that uh, to this. Minecraft server dot whatever version you're doing. And also if you want to, you can download the client jar as well. But I would suggest just running the game and getting it from your versions folder. That's like the easiest. So... I am I am running running Ubuntu 14. Yeah, so I'll be using some of its functions, but for the most part, this should run this should work for Windows as well. Uh, you're just going to use a a few different files, but they're pretty much named the same. Uh, to get the uh, Minecraft Coder Pack uh, zip file, uh, the easiest way I would say is go to Minecraft uh, Wiki and then search MPC. Then it will take you to the programs editor as well, the, the coder pack thing. So just scroll down. So down in the download section, you can get all the different uh, versions plus which version it will support. So whichever one you want to use, go ahead and use. But I've I've had trouble with uh, 1.9 and above. So you're going to click on that, download the file. Uh, it's going to be a .zip file and then save that to whatever folder you want. So, now that you have the zip file, you, this is essentially what's going to download, and move it to whatever folder you want. I've just put a folder on my desktop named Jedi Force. I don't know, I like Star Wars. So, if you're on Windows, you're going to have to get some, um, something to open or uncompress a zip file. Uh, Ubuntu has everything built in, which is lovely. I'm going to do it slightly different than just e extract here. I'm going to select everything and just pull it into this folder. And that way I can just use the, the front face. I don't have to keep going into folder after folder. So the first thing you want to do is go over to your jars, uh, jars folder. Uh, take that server.jar that you renamed, copy it over. I'm getting all my stuff from the .minecraft folder. You should know how to get there. Uh, what is it? App data roaming .minecraft, I believe, for Windows. Um, you want to copy your minecraft.jar file over as well. Uh, go into versions, and I'll be doing uh, 1.10.2. So copy that folder as well. Oh, make a versions folder in the jars file copy the version into the versions folder. There we go. Uh, now, uh, go to the config folder back in the main screen, and you're going to go to this versions, and you have to change that to whatever version you're going to be running. Uh, the trouble I was having is because of this, I would go to decompile and it would copy 1.10 over to the versions folder in the coder pack and I was, it, it wasn't decompiling 10.2 it just was doing regular 10 and I was getting really annoyed so I finally figured that part out yes save otherwise it's not gonna work uh, then the other thing is it might throw a few errors saying like uh, modified jar file found or whatever so if you want to fix that, uh, I found it runs fine without it, but if you want to fix that, open this MP, MCP and go down here to the jar and uh, open terminal or command prompt. I don't know if this works on command prompt. I haven't tried it, but 
Google it, figure out how to do it. Uh, you're going to go back to your versions, your jars versions, and whatever version you're using, and you're going to do, I believe it's MD5 sum. Yeah, whatever this says. If it says SHA1 or whatever, it should be MD5. MD5 sum, and then at least in Ubuntu, you can just drag and drop, and it'll take the, uh, the file... Um, path and put it there. Okay, why didn't you work? Oh, space. And you're going to get a number. You're going to copy that. Oh, look at that. You can't do control C. So you actually have to right click copy and replace that number. And if you're going to do the server as well, also do that with the server file. So go back to your jars, MD5 some space Minecraft server I'm so used to using that and replace that as well alright everything's happy make sure you save that now pretty much everything's set up to run to decompile 1.10.2 here's the fun part uh, CD space, CD stands for change directory, and you're going to put in the folder that uh, you, de you uh, unzipped MCP2, and you want to change the directory to that, otherwise it's going to do some funky stuff. And then, at least on Windows, or Ubuntu, sh, and then this decompile.sh script. Uh, and hit enter and it will start decompiling the correct version uh, Windows I believe you can just double click on the decompile dot bat uh, so for Ubuntu if anyone else is using Linux and it tells you that you don't have permission to run just go into the runtime find your where is the decompile there it is. Right click on it, go to properties, go to permissions, and allow. And then it should allow you to run. And later, if you're also having trouble with um, reobfuscate or start or whatever, just go into the runtime, right click, and set, set that. Also, I believe for, I don't think you'd even have that on Windows, but you also have your Windows thing in there. So I'll just let this decompile as you can tell everything worked pretty much fine uh, you also have to install a, another program uh, if you're on Ubuntu you have to install uh, wine otherwise and it will install pretty much everything else for you as well which is really annoying because you it uses a lot of those a lot of those things so you have to install wine I also forgot if you're on Ubuntu in order to do some of the decompiling and recompiling and stuff, you have to install this program, uh, look it up, uh, find a way to install that. It gave me a little trouble, so I'll let you guys figure that out. If you're wanting to code, hopefully you know how to do that. And if you're using Linux, you should also know how to do that. Okay, it finally finished decompiling, and now we're ready to open Eclipse. I'll go to Browse, and you're going to go to that folder, uh, go to this folder, and you're going to click on the Eclipse click OK and it should be like that you want you want to be in the Eclipse you don't want to be in the client or a server or anything you just want to be in the Eclipse folder they have it all set up for you which is real nice Alright, and now one more fun part. 
you can tell there's errors in their marks all over the place that are telling you there's something wrong. So, you're going to right click, go to build path, configure build path, and you're going to go to the libraries tab, and this one says it's missing uh, 1.10. Well, of course, because we aren't using 1.10, go to uh, not, yeah, go to edit, and we're going to go to that, to your jar folder, and we're going to go into versions, or not versions, sorry, you want this Minecraft server dot whatever, click OK, and that will fix that error, apply and OK, and it's going to rebuild everything, and then your server should be fine. Alright, so after a second when that's done, uh, I'm just going to close that project because don't need it open. And now we're going to have to do that to the client. So build path, configure build path, and we're going to have to edit that file as well. And this time we're going to go into jar versions and into whatever version and you're going to select that jar file that the version of Minecraft you're playing so that will correct that and also you'll have you might have some of these other ones that are not correct so like realms we don't have uh, at least when MC was put together they didn't have they were looking for different uh, realms so you're going to have to edit that and again you're going to go into your um, MCP folder and you're going to go to jars libraries at least for realms uh, the, the best way to look for it is it says client jars libraries com mojang realms whatever so you're going to follow the same thing. Go to com, Mo, Mojang, Realms, and then this one we have 1.9.8. So just select that and click OK, and that's good. Uh, one of the other problems I had uh, before I was having issues with um, the lightweight Java game library. Actually, let's see if it runs. Hit apply, see if it runs. If it doesn't give you an issue, then yay. Gave me problems. Alright, let's run it, see what errors we get. Of course. Um, this is the annoying thing to figure out. Yeah, so this is a natives um, issue with the lightweight Java game library, like I thought. So you're going to go back to your build path. You're going to find your lightweight game library. And you want to open a little tab and go to the native library location. You want to click edit. Um, here's one of the oddball things. You can try workspace. If it doesn't work, you're going to have to do external folder and find everything as a absolute path. I know there was an issue with it earlier. So workspace, uh, you're going to go to client, you're going to go to your jars, versions, and you want to open your version and you're going to use this natives folder. You can click that but nothing's going to happen. Uh, you're going to use that and click OK and you're going to do it to the top one as well and I don't believe there are any more LWJGL, nope, okay. 
Uh, so now you want to hit apply OK and you should run it and you should be fine. If it still gives you that error, you're going to have to do the fun part, which is edit. You have to do external folder. You go to your jars file again, versions, and it's going to be this natives folder and you want to click OK and then you're going to click OK and you're going to do that to the other one and then you're going to hit apply and hit OK and then you'll run it and you should be in good shape. And there you go. You should be able to code and play and whatever else you want. Ta-da! And you have successfully installed Minecraft Coder Pack. Congratulations. Have fun.